Hey guys, Rochelle Clark here. Let's figure out how to cut and style this wig. So I got this hair from Miss Bai. It comes in this cute little box. And I have the loose wavy um, 360 frontal actually, but I didn't do the 360 style today. I just focused on cutting and styling. I will show you guys how that works in the future if you guys are interested, so comment down below. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tweeze the front. Um, the front is already pre-plucked, but I'm gonna go ahead and tweeze behind the hairline just because I wanna make it a bit more natural. And I'm also tweezing out the top. Sometimes I leave the top, but I decided to tweeze it as well. So now that I'm all done tweezing, I'm going to mix together my bleach and I'm going to apply it to the lace. I'm gonna use a knife because I want the bleach to barely seep through the lace front so it can properly coat the knots so that it can bleach more evenly. And honestly, I don't like to do it on the mannequin head because I find it goes too far through. So that's why I'm doing it like off of the mannequin head. Ready? Okay. So um, my wig is obviously glued to my head. Um, I took down some baby hairs, um, which I don't really need because I intend to do that layered look that we're trying to achieve here. So I'm going to attempt to cut my hair myself in a layered fashion with the center part. So um, hopefully it works. Okay, here we go. So obviously I parted it. I mean, I hope the part is perfect. It might not be. <sighs> I'm honestly very nervous about this. So what I'm gonna do is cut, is, is make triangles, right? I'm gonna make a triangle part. As you can see, it's a triangle, right? See that triangle? And then I want to bring the triangle that I've parted completely over to the other side of my head. And I'm going to cut it as long as I want it. Okay, I'm just going to cut it here. This is longer than I want it, but I always like to cut my hair longer so that just in case it doesn't turn out the way I thought it would, I can always cut more. So I did one triangle, and I'm going to do you more. Um, I think I see a little bit of a of a shape taking place. We'll see though. We'll see. Now, I wish I had a, a much bigger mirror so I could see my whole entire body. I have one of these little mirrors, but this is just not gonna cut it in real life. So now I'm gonna start curling. I'm starting from the back, and you guys do not even mention my little five o'clock shadow in my armpits. Oh my God. You know, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be showing them on camera. Don't worry, they're gone now, okay guys? Gosh. LOL. So now I'm experimenting because this is where I never know what to do when it comes to the top front of my hair. I don't know if I should curl under, over, and back. So we're just going to see what happens. So on this side, I'm going to be curling over and back. And on the other side, I'm going to be curling under, like this. Under. So I do wish I had some big rollers or those pins that kind of keep it you know, in its formation, but I don't. So, um, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I think next time it'd be like helpful. 
and I can already see it taking shape on that side and that's always the look I want to go for and it's like oh my god this whole time so this is the moment of truth when you brush it all out because I don't obviously want to keep my curls so curly I want it to look a bit loose oh this hair feels so soft so uh, this isn't exactly what I was going for on this side Let's try this side. What happens? What happens? I think, what, what, what's going on here? Okay, you know what? This is it. This is what I actually want in my life. Yeah, this is the side. Mystery solved. So guys, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just slow, but when I'm curling my hair, I don't know, I just get confused about what I'm doing and like the results aren't exactly what I want. And this is, this is what I want. I want this little thing. Now I think that I could cut this a bit shorter to really emphasize the, the thing, whatever it is called. What side do you like better? Do you like this side? This one was curled under and out. And this one was curled under. I do also believe if I had, um, those things, um, rollers, those big, big fat rollers. Um, I think that would really help set these um, curls even better on this side to give it that, you know, really bouncy look. So let me just do my makeup right quick. Um, let me be right back. Okay guys, I am done my hair. So I fixed the other side so it can look more like this side. So do you guys see the little I honestly can't see because I don't have a big enough mirror. So you guys have to tell me. Do you see what I'm going for here? Like this thing, you know? I don't know. I See what I'm going for here? This thing. I think I got it. Like, what do you guys think? Comment down below because honestly, this has changed my life. And now I know how to curl my hair to get the, um, to get the long layered look that I actually am purposely going for so I really hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope you guys can try this at home and make it work for you so be sure to um, click the link in the description box for this hair it's from Miss Bye, and I actually have a coupon code as well so you guys can save 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 so this is the end of the video so be sure to comment down below um, leave a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you guys in my next video Love you